So today we have a story that hasn't quite ended yet. It starts with Masanori Murakami in 1965, who pitched for the San Francisco Giants near the end of baseball's golden age. Murakami was the first Japanese player to pitch in the bigs. Then came Nomo, the first to start. Then Ichiro, the first to hit. And then Matsui, the first to win a ring. Now, though, we have our hero. Carrying his NPB MVP capability into what is shaping up to be a record-breaking season. Actually, there's really only one way to begin this. This is the greatest show! On this episode of Global Baseball's Finest. Shoei Otani was born on July the 5th, 1994, in the quiet village of Oshu in Iwate Prefecture. He was a casual baseball fan growing up, mostly because of his father Toru, an industrial league ball player, who inspired both he and his older brother to play in their youth. Shohei watched Hideki Matsui growing up, patrolling right field for the Yamayuri Giants and later for the New York Yankees. Despite this though, baseball was still just a hobby for him. That is, until high school, where the 6 foot 5 flamethrower realized that he was a natural. After all, he owns the fastest pitch in Koshien history, clocking in right around 99.1 miles an hour. As he battled through groin and hamstring injuries in high school, he announced his intention to go directly to the major leagues after graduating. However, Fighters GM Masao Yamada successfully convinced the young phenom to spend his formative years in Japan in order to bypass the American minor leagues and establish himself as a bona fide superstar in Japan. This worked and the fighters drafted arguably the best player in their history, and he was even granted the jersey number of the last man to enter the majors directly out of the fighters' rotation, you Darvish. Otani debuted in 2013 as a right fielder, but did not take too long to pitch that season. He finished 3-0 in 11 starts and earned an All-Star and Best 9 selection in Pacific League. Shohei continued to dominate on the mound as the years went on, leading Pacific League in ERA in 2015, and after two years, he'd managed to earn a contract worth 100 million yen a year, with his bat slowly improving in the shadows. Otani put his name on the lips of many American players, execs, and fans after a staggering performance in the 2015 Premier 12. In the semi-finals against Korea, he struck out 11, giving up only one hit in seven innings of shutout ball. The next season, Shohei blasted 322 with 22 bombs, raking in 18 doubles, stole 7 bases for a 416 on base percentage while going 10 and 4 with a 1.86 ERA on the mound. He was named both the best pitcher and the best designated hitter in the Pacific League Best 9 in 2016. And as the fighters won the Japan Series, he won the MVP award in a landslide, winning 253 of a possible 254 votes. He has to be posted not long after, following a shortened 2017 season due to injury. A great many Major League teams made offers toward him, but ultimately it would be the LA Angels who managed to secure his signature, hoping to provide Mike Trout some help in winning some games. He got some, shall we say, negative press upon his arrival, and few thought his skills would translate well from NPB to MLB. Sadly though, 2018 was frustrating for Shohei. After a great stretch that April, he sprained his elbow, which harassed him the entire season. Despite undergoing Tommy John's surgery, he earned a Rookie of the Year honor thanks to the flashes of brilliance he displayed in his starts. 2019 was much the same, with his knees continuing to make playing difficult for him. But he did manage to do something not even Ichiro could do in MLB and hit for the cycle. 2020 was even worse finishing with an infinite ERA and a 190 batting average before once again being sidelined due to injury. But after all this, 2021 would be his year. And let's see how that's going.
I don't think I'm going to take the time to list all of his 2021 accomplishments here. If you even have a passing familiarity with baseball, you know most of them. Suffice it to say, his bat is strong, his arm is flawless, he's had some hiccups this year, but who hasn't? He's an all-star for a reason. And to be honest, I'm looking forward to a day when players outside of the Americas are not just considered groundbreaking or trailblazing when they do something great. They're just great. Shohei Otani isn't just a great Japanese ball player. He's a great ball player. He's not the Japanese Babe Ruth. He's Shohei Otani. Articles like this shouldn't exist anymore. America is not the world's greatest baseball country. No country is. And no one should be. Because hey, in recent years, America's pastime has needed some help. Bud Selig did not save baseball by letting steroids run rampant through the major leagues. Pitchers should not have any excuses for using foreign substances to make their pitches more difficult to hit. And it doesn't matter if the four All-Stars in the 2017 Houston Astros were still just as good without the trash cans, they cheated. Sure, all three of these things make the game more interesting for some people. And part of the game is giving fans something exciting to watch. But is that really what's happening? Is people still believing that hitters who used steroids should be in the Hall of Fame really good for baseball? Men like Ichiro, men like Hideki Matsui, Albert Pujols, Carlos Delgado, Vladimir Guerrero Sr., and now Jr., and Shohei Otani are just a few of the great men who have lit this game on fire using completely above-board means. Their work perfectly embodies our mantra here at GBN and why this channel exists in the first place. The future of baseball exists where it is a sport for all people. A game of the world. And in that vein, good luck tonight, Otani-san. Thanks for watching.